We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. Really blows out there today. Wind advisory till 10 a.m. tomorrow. Winds coming from the northwest at 20 to 30 miles an hour. Wind gusts expected up to 50 miles an hour. I think wow. it was an early start. I, there was a barrel in front of my house uh, this morning. I've never seen this barrel ever. It's not one of the really? regular Republic Services barrels. just huh. came from another place. Yeah. Why do they even sell non-Republic Service barrels? I don't know. It's so weird to me. You walk into the Home Depot. It's like, who's, us- like, who's using these? Right. Because can, the, can they even grab it? No. So weird. It's very interesting. Yeah. Whatever the case, uh, if somebody could just take that barrel from front of my house, that'd be great. Uh, planes are in the air over Harry Reid International Airport. So is love. LAS has a pop-up marriage license office and Terminal 1 baggage claim today from 8 till 4. <laughs> the Marriage License Bureau is the busiest in the world, issuing around 80,000 licenses yearly. And they're not the only ones getting in the act. Denny's in downtown, they've been doing this for a while, but it's free today. You mm-hmm. get the wedding, you get the champagne, <laughs> the dessert, the decor, the music, the officiant, two t-shirts, and <laughs> two coupons for an original Grand Slam breakfast. There we go. For free today, considering the price of eggs. I know. That is worth it. Yeah, sure. For sure. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, it'll cost you. <laughs> but make sure it doesn't work out quick and it won't cost you right. much. Uh, divorce, of course, Dr. Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, they've extended their residencies at Resorts World. Beyonce, we mentioned yesterday, added a new I know, date. I know. And the, the uh, so Sunday, are there cheaper tickets, which <laughs> I'm a little upset about. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that was going to happen. But I'm going to be the first one anyways. Are, you, should go to, you should go to both. True fans Maybe. would go to both. Yeah, yeah. Rich fans go to both. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Hey, maybe, maybe if you're just lucky enough, the ticket fairy will come in. Yes, maybe. And somebody <laughs> won't pick up their tickets. Uh, wow. Okay. So if you're in the sports betting app business, what day do you want your app to work? Super Bowl Super Sunday. Bowl. William Hill. Oh, boy. Their app went down during the Super Bowl. Hasn't been right since. They last tweeted yesterday saying, hey, we're working on it. Sorry. So, like, there are people that have money tied up in the app. Some people don't even live here. They can't get it. They can't even get it. Oh, my god! If they want to get the money out of the app, they have to come back to Nevada and cash it. Oh, it's a mess. Wow. They're continuing to work on that. Uh, Really raw deal for Boulder City High School boys varsity basketball team. Due to a clerical error, they were told they, because transfer paperwork for one student was filed improperly, they would have to forfeit all the games played so far this season, thereby halting their postseason run, which is the dumbest thing I've ever mm-hmm, heard. Mm-hmm. It's not that he's t- 24. Right. It's not like he's not eligible to play. That's so weird. Like that one little league team that had a bunch of like 28 year old Dominican kids. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, wait, is it? You're not 12. Right. Oh, no, he was t- totally fine. But the clerical error caused the issue. They filed an appeal. And thankfully, according to mynews3.com or news3lv.com, whatever mm-hmm. they call it now, uh, Nevada Interscholastic Activities Association, otherwise known as NIAA, they're going to allow the postseason to continue for them. Okay, which is good. Good. Because, <laughs> yes. like, well, the letter of the law says, yeah, we know what the letter of the law says. Stop it. Uh, you and all the Lady Rebels basketball team have not been ranked in the AP poll for nearly 30 years, but they are back. The Associated Press just released their list of the top 25 teams in the land, and the Lady Rebels landed at number 23. It's the That's first awesome. time they've been on the list since 1994. Wow. Good for them. Wow. Finally, the Raiders expected to release Derek Carr today. Yep. I mean, do we have do we have Aaron Rodgers yet? Because if not, like, why don't you just keep him? Yeah, keep it's very away. interesting. It is a really interesting. It would be awkward if we did keep him, though. Hey, remember that time we almost got rid of him? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. You know, we, we looked out there. It turns out quarterbacks are very expensive. <laughs> Come on by. Right.